Be strong. Allah will give you the strength. You may have to get up and do things you've never done before. But Allah will give you the strength. Believe in Allah. And believe that Allah will give you that strength. But when you pity yourself and you're expecting other people to do for you, that's not going to happen. Ask the widows. They'll tell you, first week, everyone was at home. Then it cut down to a weekend. Few weekends, people used to come home. During the week, I was quite lonely. Then even the weekends, they stopped coming. It was only on the day of Eid they came. And they actually spoiled my Eid. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. It happens. Sometimes those who want to assist are actually the source of the problem. People have experienced it. But that is Allah showing you, they'll come to you for a few days. Within that time of your idda, pick yourself up and realize it's a blessing of Allah. It's a blessing. Allah is going to give you the strength. What to you is success? That's my question, my beloved sister. What is success to you? Can I give you the answer? Success is when you have led a life in a way that the end prize is paradise. That's the only success. There's no other success. If you had the millions and the billions and nobody died in your family before you and you still did not get paradise, you lost everything. That's not success. That's failure. Because you lived for a few years, went into your grave. But if you had almost nothing on earth or you suffered loss after loss and sickness and disease and this problem and childbirth was an issue and you suffered miscarriages and you went through this and through that one after the other and you kept pushing yourself and thanking Allah, worshipping Allah, praising Allah, not giving up on Allah. Do you know what? When you earn Jannah, that is the ultimate success. That is the ultimate happiness. That is the virtue of Allah. That is the gift of Allah. Hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, he says, Tuhfatul mu'min il mawtu. You know how powerful that is? It means the gift of a true believer is death. Why is it a gift? Simple ABC response to that. Allah promises you when you do this, I'll give you this reward. When you fulfill your salah, I'll give you this reward. When you do your psalm or fasting, I'll give you this reward. I'll reward you, multiply it by so much and I'll multiply it. And when you stay away from sin, I'll multiply it. When you, when you do something wrong and you engage in istighfar, I will still write that for you as a reward. Because you sought forgiveness from us. When are you going to see all those rewards? When are you going to get all those rewards? Imagine the teacher tells you at school, okay, you are first in class, you're going to get a prize. You keep asking the teacher, when is the prize giving? They tell you, 27th of November. You can't wait for 27th of November. When the date comes, you have to get yourself to the school and make sure when your name is called out, you walk up on the stage to collect your what? Collect your prize. If you don't want to go to the prize giving, how are you going to get it? You know you're going to get a prize, but how are you going to get it? You refuse to go to the function or you don't want to get up on the stage. A similar example would be that of Jannah. Allah's promised you, this is your prize. You're going to get this reward, that reward. In order to retrieve it, you need to come to us. You need to come to us. Okay, I want to go to Allah and I want to get my prize. Allah says, you know what? We call the coming to us. We call it death. Allahu Akbar. We call it death. I as a mu'min am totally convinced that the day my eyes close, I will absolutely be going to a much better place than I am in right now. Why? Because I have a kalima. I have a shahada. I have iman. I believe in Allah. I surrender to Allah. Wherever I faltered, I seek the forgiveness of Allah. And I try my best. And I'm just a human and Allah knows He's created me as a human. If Adam alayhi salam fell and sought forgiveness and Allah forgave him, if I were to fall and seek forgiveness, do you think the same Allah is not going to forgive me? I'm convinced I'm going to a better place. I can't wait to get back to Allah. It's going to be superb. It's going to be amazing. I've heard that He is Ghafoor, Rahim, Rahman, Wadud. Most forgiving, most passionate, most kind, most loving. How can I think for a moment... 
that I'm not going to go to a better place. In this world, I might have been temporarily at the mercy of someone who's ruthless. Someone might have shown me their power by firing me at work. It's a loss. Someone might have shown me their might by abusing me. We tell them, oh Allah, they are showing us their might. You show them your might. Subhanallah, you never go wrong. 